Hi Rhonda, it's Derek Price. I've been putting together your uh, tutorial video for updating your website. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. And as you can see, it says WordPress Admin. That's the link that you want to click on to log in to your website. And your username and password. Go ahead and log in here. That takes you to the dashboard on the left. Just a moment. On the left here, uh, you'll see under pages. Uh, you'll click on pages. And what we're going to do is going to go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate how you would update your coupons. That would be a good, uh, good place to start. And your online exclusive specials that we have labeled for that page. And zoom in out so you can see the editor here. We've got the visual editor up, that's what's on by default. You have several options here, just like you would in any uh, email editor. You know, you got your bold and uh, italic, you know, underline different styles and things like that. Um, obviously, Whenever you want to update your coupons, you're going to change your expiration date. All right, so just like with any uh, you know text editor, rich text editor, you're going to go in and uh, you know so you're going to change it. Obviously, there's no June 31st, but uh, for right now, that's what we're putting down. And so you just made a change. So let's say you just want to take a look at this change before we publish the change. Uh, up here at the top right, you see Preview Changes. You click on that, and it will actually open up another tab in your browser. You can see where you've changed that, June 31st. All right. So if you wanted to make that change go live on the website, you would click on Update on the right in that area. For right now, we're going to go ahead and change that back so we don't have that on the website saying June 31st. Um, but let's say you're working on a page and you want to add a photo. That's probably the most basic thing that you probably would want to do. I'm going to just go ahead and put it right here at the very top of the page. All right. And I'm just going to do this just like you would any any other um, you know upload type utility. You want to add a picture from your from your computer. I'm going to select a file and just select the file that you want to upload from your computer. This is just for an example here. So you can put a title on it. You know, just change it to whatever you want. Um, alternate text is good. You know, if uh, someone's looking at the photo, it won't load up. You get a little flag there. It'll show you what what the, what it is. Um, you can link it to some you know, to a particular page or a link that you want to link it to right here in the link URL. Um, and, you know, you can insert it into posts where you uh, where you just put it. So that's what I'm going to do for right now. All right. So let's say you want to change that. Click on the little picture on the left here. And, you know, you can put a caption on it, for example. You know, you can move it to where it's left line, center line no alignment, etc. And, you know, just like that, you can resize it. Pretty easy to do. You know, all these different little things and hit update whenever you're done. For our purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Um, but yeah, just like, like a regular text editor, if you, you know, Word or what have you, you can put a table in there and edit that. You know, I doubt that you'll need to put any MP3s or you know, video or anything like that on there, but that's where you would do that right there, that upload insert next to the image upload. And I think that's a pretty good, uh, you know, basic overview of how you would make changes to your pages. And, yeah, so I think that's good. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.